Have you seen this video before? It looks pretty real, doesn't it? Well, it's actually an AI generated video made by a new coming platform called Sora. It's so convincing and looks so real, but it's currently being developed by OpenAI, but it is actually just a text to prompt AI video. Now, this is pretty impressive. If you compare it to AI art and what AI art currently looks like, this is what AI art was 18 months ago. And look how much that's improved. So you can see the next 18 months or few years, you can expect AI generated video to take massive leaps in quality and be completely unrecognizable compared to actual footage. But let's check out some of these videos. And you can see the realism in what's on screen right now, especially with animals. You can see how it has a really good job of creating like a scene that seems consistent and putting an animal in that scene, it tends to do a really great job of producing a very convincing result. But what if we move on to other shots, such as scenery, things like drone shots, it looks like actual footage. And this is all AI video. I haven't shown a single real video in this video itself. So everything you see here is an AI generated video, but when it gets to people, it's still just as convincing. And since as humans, we're really dialed in on picking apart when something is wrong with someone's face in an image. So by going through, in seeing these, you can see how convincing it's able to render faces, which is really impressive. But then you can actually even start to stretch the reality a little bit, start to take things to a more fantastical level, look a little bit different. And it does a really convincing job of creating things you normally couldn't shoot, almost like special effects. So you can even move it into the realm of animation and 3D animation. And it does an awesome job at being incredibly convincing and it's gonna be a massive time saver for everyone in the film industry, TV industry, or creators who are creating videos online. However, these videos aren't perfect. I'm gonna get into that a little bit later, but first, let's look at some of the benefits, the uses for this. Pretty much your imagination is the limit, especially once these videos get more convincing as much as they are here. I mean, you can use them for B-roll in your videos or establishing shots if you're telling a story. If you wanna create a music video, getting some unique videos on that can really help you. Also, you can use them for social media, things like motion graphics on Instagram, ways to grab people's attention with something that moves and looks a little unique. And you can even sell stock video online. And that brings us to today's sponsor, Wirestock. Wirestock is a powerful platform that allows you to sell photography, video, AI art, or AI generated video to a number of stock photo sites. Simply hit upload, add your image or video, check that it's AI generated if it is AI and submit it will automatically tag, automatically title, and submit it for you. You don't have to do anything else beyond that. You also get your own portfolio you can sell directly from. You can set the price, create packs, and it goes onto Wirestock's own marketplace as well. And on top of that, if you need an AI art generator to help with your images, then Wirestock has a whole suite of AI tools you can use, including a generator and even themes to help you style your images without having to learn any complicated prompting. But they also have other tools in there, such as a face swapper or even in painting to edit your images. And you can use Reimagine to apply a style to an existing image or even the image mixer where you blend two images together. And then when you're done, it'll upscale it for you and submit it to the marketplace. In the early days of AI, this is a massive opportunity to generate some passive income with your AI images and videos. So check out Wirestock. There is a link in the description below. Sign up and start earning some passive income today. Otherwise, back to the video. Now you can check out Sora on the OpenAI website. There's a page there with some information with all the videos and all the prompts. Keep in mind, these are gonna be the best videos that they've created. There's gonna be a whole bunch they're not showing here, but this is still really impressive. But there's some mistakes that I mentioned earlier. I'm gonna go through them right now. Now these videos are amazing. I'm not trying to have a go at them, but to show you they are AI, check out the logo on the sunglasses. You can see that is definitely an AI artifact and actually not a logo. Now with this video of the cat, it puts its paw in front of its owner's face and then the exact same side paw goes next to it. It's small but noticeable. And I love this shot. It is a beautiful shot. However, the people walking in the foreground are taller than the roof at the start of the video. Let's go back and check that out. You can see there, it's still brilliant, but it does have a few little issues. Another thing is these people are really quite tall compared to the people around them. So it's done an awesome job in creating this video, but obviously there's still some stuff that needs to be fixed. But what do you spot? If you watch some of these videos, let me know in the comments below what mistakes you can find because they are very impressive and very small. If you didn't know it was AI video, you wouldn't know these mistakes were there. 
Now, the website itself addresses this. It even says the current model has weaknesses and may struggle with accurately simulating the physics of a complex scene and may not understand specific instances of cause and effect. For example, a person might take a bite out of a cookie, but afterwards the cookie may not have a bite mark. So you can see how they're aware of this and they're working to improve. Now this is pretty exciting and videos can be generated up to 60 seconds long. That's a lot of video for AI to come up with. Now at the moment, Sora's not available to the public. I don't know when it's coming, but it's definitely in the works and hopefully we can get our hands on it sooner rather than later. So for now, if you're looking to generate some AI video, then I am gonna share with you a few different platforms that you can try. The first is Leonardo AI, which is one of my all time favorite AI platforms in general, simply because it's great AI image generator, also has image to motion where you can create videos from your images along with a bunch of other really cool features. You can generate videos pretty quickly and easily with Leonardo AI. The next one is Pixverse. Pixverse is free and allows you to create some awesome images with text to video and also image to video. So you've got a few different options there generate some pretty cool videos and it is free so you can go and check it out the other one is runway you have a little bit more control and i think it's probably one of the best ones out there at the moment uh, so i definitely highly recommend checking that out i haven't used runway a lot but i'm super impressed with what you are able to do while using runway and finally if you need to actually enhance your videos or slow them down add slow motion something like that Grab Topaz Video AI. You can do all sorts of things to enhance, upscale, add slow motion frames to get proper AI slow motion and a whole bunch of other enhancements to improve your videos. So if you're looking to take them to the next level. Once again, I want to thank Ystock for sponsoring this video. Remember to sign up and start earnings passive income today if you want to sell your AI images and videos. Otherwise, that's the video for today, guys. I hope you found it interesting. I certainly find this space very interesting at the moment. So if you like the video, please consider giving it a like. And if you want to keep up to date, subscribe if you want more of my videos as this all unfolds. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you again next time.